A Rapid City man was in court today facing more charges of raping an eight-year-old boy. The Rapid City Council held a special meeting this afternoon to discuss appropriating funds for the proposed public safety building. We'll have details on News Center 1 tonight at 10. Plus, Dan Aykroyd and Jim Belushi's Big Man Music. And ooh, Midnight Confessions. Your local news is next. President Bush says he's willing to meet with Middle East leaders if there would be a chance for advancing the peace process. That story and more coming up next on News Center One. You're watching the award winning News Center One at 10. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Hopkins. And I'm Al Van Zee. Thank you for choosing News Center One. The Rapid City Council held a special meeting this afternoon to again discuss appropriating funds for the proposed public safety building project. By a vote of 8 to 3, the council decided to appropriate the needed $900,000 for the public safety building. How, however, there are some stipulations from the council. The contractor will not start remodeling of the jail until notice to proceed has been given by the council and the county commissioners. The council will also review all change orders in excess of $10,000 thousand dollars. The county commissioners are now set to award the project bid by next week. A Rapid City man appeared in Pennington County Court today on charges of first-degree rape, kidnapping, and sexual contact with a minor. Authorities say 20-year-old Anthony Reyes kidnapped an eight-year-old boy as he walked home from school in February of this year and then raped him. Reyes is currently a registered sex offender in Rapid City and was on probation for a previous sex offense at the time of his arrest. If found guilty, Reyes faces a mandatory life sentence because of his prior sex offenses. And accused murderer Fred Allen Bates was back in court today in Deadwood. Prosecutors say Bates killed David Rose of Sturgis on August 2, 1982 at Mount Roosevelt near Deadwood. Today, defense attorneys filed motions for more discovery. Bates' attorneys also want to look at po police dispatch records from August 1982, and they say they intend to file a notice of alibi. Judge Warren Johnson set a July 1st deadline for all motions and notices and has tentatively set a September 15th date for trial. A Madison woman will spend six months in prison for her role in a car accident that killed her friend. Tammy Marco will also spend 24 hours in jail on the anniversary date of the crash every year for the next 10 years. Marco pleaded guilty to vehicular homicide last month in the death of 20-year-old Sarah Elizabeth Sanford. Marco was driving eastbound on West Highway 14 near the Wyoming border last October 9th when she lost control of her car on a curve. The vehicle rolled into a ditch. Sanford was ejected and killed. Marco's blood alcohol level was above the legal limit at the time of the accident. Three South Dakota National Guard soldiers deployed to Iraq are hospitalized after an accident today. Guard officials say Specialist Brian Moe of Clear Lake, Sergeant Christian Vizecki of Astoria, and Sergeant Donald Peters of Flandreau are in critical but stable condition after being struck by a passing vehicle when their truck convoy pulled over for a rest stop. All three are members of the 727th Transportation Company of Elks Point, Brookings, Watertown, and Flandreau that was activated in January. President Bush says he'll strongly consider meeting with the Israeli and Palestinian prime ministers if he thinks it would help advance the Middle East peace process. The president is at his Texas ranch where he met today with Japan's prime minister. As Beverly Kirk reports, the two leaders warned North Korea that it would face tougher measures if it escalates its nuclear weapons program. President Bush and Japanese Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi <laughs> held talks at the president's Texas ranch, focusing on two world hotspots, North Korea and the Middle East. In the Gaza Strip, eight people were hurt when a bomb exploded next to an Israeli bus. This, as Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon said he's prepared to accept the U.S. roadmap for Middle East peace. President Bush called that progress. He accepted it because I assured him that the United States is committed to Israel's security. But Israel still has concerns about security, especially in light of this week's deadly suicide bombings. The roadmap calls for the creation of a Palestinian state by 2005. President Bush says he's exploring a meeting with Sharon and new Palestinian Prime Minister Mahmoud Abbas. If a meeting uh, advances progress toward two states living side by side in peace, I will, I will strongly consider such a meeting. President Bush and Prime Minister Koizumi presented a united front on the issue of North Korea, with both saying they won't tolerate nuclear weapons in that country. They emphasized they believe the situation can be resolved peacefully, but 
As importantly, Japan and the United States will not be blackmailed by uh, North Korean threats, and that's important for the North Korean leadership to know. The crisis began last fall when the U.S. discovered the North Koreans were secretly enriching uranium for use in nuclear weapons. The president says the U.S. and Japan won't settle for anything short of a verifiable elimination of North Korea's nuclear program. In Washington, Beverly Kirk, KNBN News Center 1. Well, on the calendar, summer doesn't officially start until June 21st, but Memorial Day weekend often symbolizes the unofficial start of summer. And despite new warnings of more possible terrorist attacks, millions of Americans are expected to hit the highways over this long holiday weekend. Lindsay Sebo has more. If you have plans of traveling somewhere this weekend, you certainly won't be alone. According to AAA, 35 million people will be traveling this Memorial Day, a number slightly down from this time last year. But you can bet law enforcement agencies will be out in full force. The Memorial Day weekend is always a high, high, traffic, high traffic time, so um, we're going to be out in, in full force with the DUI enforcement, uh, looking for the drunk or drug driver, um, you know, all in an effort just to reduce accidents on the state highways. Unfortunately, Memorial Day weekend has had its share of traffic accidents over the past few years. We'll do this year warning on the speed this morning. Just ask you please slow down. Okay. And to try and reduce the number of accidents, the Highway Patrol is reminding travelers to drive defensively. We're looking, you know, we look for first things that are, you know, that we're finding is, are contributing factors to accidents. You know, it's the speed, the following too closely, the erratic driving, uh, you know, anything that, that is a safety issue, that's, that's what we're looking for. Most importantly, the Highway Patrol reminds everyone to wear their seat belts, not only this weekend, but year-round. Appreciate you having everybody buckled up. Following normal driving procedures practiced on a daily basis may help reduce the risk of accidents. It is with Memorial Day weekend and every day of the year, it's, people need to slow down, need to buckle up, um, drive defensively, and, and just be aware of, of, of the surroundings. As thousands of drivers hit the highway this holiday weekend, the easiest way to ensure a safe vacation is through safe driving, according to the South Dakota Highway Patrol. Lindsay Sebo, News Center 1. Now, the Memorial Day traffic reporting period began at 6 o'clock this evening and runs to midnight Monday. Last year in South Dakota, there were 155 accidents, 43 injuries, and two fatalities over the Memorial Day weekend. Black Hills National Cemetery is gearing up for Memorial Day. Director of the cemetery, Bob Poe, says they're expecting record numbers this year because of the military action taking place around the world. A number of festivities are planned for Monday with a new exhibit called the Avenue of Flags. Also on Memorial Day Monday, the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation is hosting a Native American Memorial Day service. The service will begin at 9 a.m. and will feature a number of guest speakers. At 11 a.m., the American Legion Department of South Dakota will host another ceremony. The ceremony will dedicate the new Avenue of Flags flagpoles. Immediately following the 11 a.m. ceremony, a time capsule buried 25 years ago will be opened. You're watching News Center 1 at 10 with Al Van Z, Elizabeth Hopkins, Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio, and Ryan Gunn Sports. West East. Some of the best heart, sur heart surgeons in the country are in the Black Hills to hear the latest advantage advances in heart surgery and care. The Cardiac Symposium, hosted by Drs. James Aury and Paul Lajewski, covers topics like mitral valve repair and aortic valve replacement. The presentations included a live demonstration of a mitral valve repair. Having operations live makes learning faster. And, uh, Unique format in which uh, not only we talk and we give lectures, uh, but also we demonstrate the techniques because those techniques are so complex that they are very difficult to explain uh, just during a lecture, even though, uh, even if you use uh, drawings. Uh, by live TV demonstration, uh, you can really show uh, the uh, techniques the difficulties and how you solve these uh, difficulties 
and obviously uh, you show the result. The cardiac symposium continues through Saturday at the Rapid City Regional Hospital. The Northern Hills Court Appointed Special Advocate Program is getting some help from horse lovers. The first annual Black Hills Horse Expo features many breeds of horses, vendors, and demonstrations, including a medieval performance. The event begins Saturday at 8 o'clock, concludes with an evening show that night. Tickets for the show are $6 for adults, $4 for ages 8 to 14. This week on The Green Thumb, Bobby Marqueso takes some time to answer questions from viewers. All right, we had a chance to come down here and talk to Lori Anderson once again with Heritage Nursery, like we do every week for our Green Thumb series. I'm actually having people ask me questions now. I can't answer Please them. Please tell me you're not answering them. I'm giving the best advice I know how. Go see Lori at, at Heritage Nursery and, and she'll answer for it. Now, this viewer, Teresa from Rapid City writes in and wants to know, she has a pine tree <laughs> and underneath the pine tree, turpentine falls, she can't grow any grass. Okay, but she wants to know if she can plant flowers underneath there or are they gonna die like the grass does? Um, it's not turpentine. Okay, she calls it, she called it turpentine. Okay. I did not. Okay, those were her. I make that clear. Okay, well the needles actually fall onto the ground which makes the ground acidic. Okay. And um, if you don't clean up those needles, you will probably not get anything to grow there. Um, but if you clean up all those needles and get those out of there, you can grow some of the shade uh, perennials quite well. Very nice. Well, see, that was easy. It was easy. I could have told her that. But, but I didn't. Bobby, I did not. But you didn't. You came here and you got the right answers, didn't you? Uh, yes, ma'am, I did. Yay! <laughs> for us. All right. Thank you so much. And, and so if we have questions, we may do this. Week after week, if people ask me questions, I'm going to come to you. Great. What? <laughs> Great. We'll, we'll help you. That'll be wonderful, Bob. Bobby, I can't we're wait. We're tired. We're really tired. <sighs> Bob, do you have any questions that you need answered perhaps on your tomato well, growth? Well, I've done that, as, okay. as a matter of fact. I planted these uh, fountain grass mm -hmm. under my pine trees, and the fountain grass is doing just fine. All right. There's Likes no, acid. Huh? Likes the acid. Yeah. There's no turpentine under my <laughs> pine trees. Forecast after this. Heritage Nursery welcomes you to enjoy another wonderful year of beautiful gardens and yards. This year, let Heritage Nursery help you select and maintain your trees, shrubs, bedding plants, perennials, and roses. Heritage Nursery makes it possible to landscape your entire yard with everything from hanging baskets to flowers to trees and shrubs. The helpful staff is well-trained and committed to giving you the best service possible, and they will do their very best to ensure a memorable gardening and landscaping experience for you and your family. Come to Heritage Nursery today and begin a new hobby or feed an existing passion. 3500 West Chicago. Jonathan Rogers is a member of the class of 529, one of hundreds of high school grads who earned a scholarship from PIMCO Advisors, the company that manages College Access 529, South Dakota's new college investment plan. Jonathan is eligible to receive up to $8,000 while earning a degree in South Dakota, which means he can concentrate on school, not on paying for it. Way to go, Jonathan. To apply for a scholarship, visit SouthDakota529.com or talk to your guidance counselor. It took months of preparation, but it's finally here. It's out of this world. It's no interest for three full years, and it's only at Fisher Furniture. Fisher's takes furniture buying to a whole new level with this historic offer. Zero percent interest for three full years on the best selection in the four-state area. It's no interest to finance charges for three full years. This Memorial Day weekend at all three Fisher stores in Rapid City. Late years ahead of the competition. Carpet Mart's Memorial Day flooring sale ends Monday. It's where you get all three for one low price. Carpet, cushion, and installation. Plus, there's no down payment and no interest until 2005. Right now, choose from over 1,000 fashionable styles and colors. Plus, buy your beautiful carpet this week at Carpet Mart for as low as $1.69 a square foot and have it professionally installed with cushion at no extra charge. You can buy now with no down payment and no interest until 2005 and Carpet Mart pays all the interest. But hurry, the Memorial Day flooring sale ends Monday at Carpet Mart, Rapid City's exclusive Carpet One dealer. Mayday, Mayday, our prices are going down. 
For four days only, Toyota of the Black Hills has moved their entire used inventory to Rapid Chevrolet for an emergency liquidation sale. Shop 300 used vehicles at one convenient location. We mean business with interest as low as 3.9, along with discounts up to $2,000. Make your best deal, click the coupon in the Rapid City Journal, and take an additional $500 off. Toyota of the Black Hills at Rapid Chevrolet. Two outstanding used inventories at one location, now through Saturday, 5 p.m. You're watching News Center One Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. We had some strong thunderstorms move through uh, South Central uh, South Dakota and Southwestern South Dakota. Hail about two inches, almost two inches in diameter, 13 miles west of Oglala. Wind damage, there were some strong winds uh, four miles southwest of St. Francis. That's in the Todd County, and it picked up some large hail and knocked out a number of windows in about five or six homes in, uh, in St. Francis in Todd County. So some very strong thunderstorms. I think we'll take a look at the uh, radar now, and here's the uh, thunderstorm activity right there. You can see it move right through Todd County, and Todd County is located right there. there uh, all of that stuff is now pushed down into uh, Nebraska. We do expect a quiet night tonight. We have some rainfall totals uh, for you from this storm. Fill up over a half an inch of rain, seven hundredths in Mobridge, about fifteen hundredths in Pier. Chamberlain got about the seven hundredths in Winter, about a quarter of an inch. And you can see that the path is pretty much uh, right through uh, South Central South Dakota. So uh, that's all history now. We have uh, some uh, mild temperatures uh, this afternoon, 67 in Sioux Falls, as well as the capital city, and then temperatures warmed up in our neck of the woods, 70 in Faith for a High, 75 in Buffalo, 73 out at Ellsworth. Up in the Black Hills, temperatures in the 80s, 80 in Edgemont, as well as Hot Springs, and then some slightly cooler temperatures, but definitely mild temperatures in the central and northern hills. Right now at 61, relative humidity 83%. Partly cloudy skies, and those winds are out of the northeast at the present time, around 8 miles per hour. We don't expect them to get any stronger than that. 77, the high temperature today is a beautiful day. 46, the low, and you can see the sun up and sundown times right there. Now, here we go, out at the airport, about an inch below normal. But if we move into the city, the eastern part of Rapid City, we're about a half an inch above normal. Here's the radar, showers in the middle Atlantic states up over the northeast. We had a couple of watch boxes in the front range in Colorado down in New Mexico and still another severe thunderstorm watch box in central Nebraska. That's a little up-level wave that came out of the northwest, moved across just to our east, and now looks like it's settling in over central Nebraska. Here's the 12-hour satellite, and there goes that wave just heading off into the southeast. High temperatures. 92 in Salt Lake City, 79, Denver, 81, Oklahoma City, Atlanta, 77, and the Washington, D.C., 57, 64 up in Chicago. There's those showers now pretty, pretty much into a central Nebraska. We have another little area of shower activity uh, coming in from the uh, northwest again over northeastern South Dakota, heading uh, down toward the uh, Sioux Empire. They may get a few little showers later on tonight, but... Uh, certainly we're not going to, we don't expect anything in the uh, Black Hills. Winds on the light side tonight and on tomorrow looks like out of the north still and not very strong at all. A quick look at our future cast as we uh, start this Memorial Day weekend. Very nice tomorrow, It'll be a beautiful day. We expect lots of sunshine and then looking into a Sunday, more of the same. Just uh, a gorgeous holiday for everybody. Okay, let's... Bring it on up tonight, 49. Northerly winds are on 10 to 15. We expect a mild night this evening. And then tomorrow, 74, 75, somewhere in the mid-70s. It should be a nice day with those winds out of the north at around 10. And again, uh, partly cloudy uh, skies. Uh, partly cloudy skies tomorrow night, 49. Easterly winds, 5 to 10. Mostly uh, partly cloudy, mostly clear. 70s up in the Black Hills. Northerly winds, 5 to 10 there. And we'll have partly cloudy skies in the Black Hills. 77 on Sunday, Memorial Day, 78, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, temperatures in the uh, 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then back in the 70s on Thursday and Friday. Great looking week. Thanks, Great. Bob. It should be a nice weekend. Thank you, Bob. Ryan, what's coming up this morning? Oh, plenty. We got post-22 and 320 highlights, NHL and NBA playoffs, Annika Sorenstein at the Colonial, and tennis highlights from Sioux Falls right after the break.
This portion of New Center One has been brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts Bacon Park. Oh, give me steak, lots of steak, lots of tender, juicy steak at Applebee's. Lay some steak on my plate, lots of tasty, juicy steak. That's the steak stampede. Bourbon Street, honey pepper, one with real blue cheese. Everyone's a sirloin done the way you please. The steak stampede is waiting and you can't beat these at Applebee's. Eating good in the neighborhood. Taking care of our own. That's what the physicians of South Dakota had in mind when they created Dakota Care. For years, we've provided common sense solutions to America's biggest health care problems, like the rising cost of prescription drugs. Our physicians are educating patients about generics and less expensive prescription options to reduce costs without reducing quality of care. Ask your employer about Dakota Care, South Dakota's own. We're a family of eight kids and 12 grandkids. Every year, we have the Flock Family Football Game. We've been doing this for 18 years now. Flock Flag Football. <laughs> we take lots of pictures, and that's where Walmart comes in. Some of it's film, some of it's digital, but we get great prints either way. It's a good excuse to get together and knock each other silly. It's always fun to look back and see who broke what. Whether you prefer digital or a film camera, you can get high-quality prints at a Walmart price. We transport supplies throughout our system of care. I enjoy taking care of children in our community. We help people find employment here at the hospital. In surgery, we always have time for you. I take pride in what I do. We are 4,500 of your friends and neighbors dedicated to caring for the communities in our region in so many different ways. We are the employees of Rapid City Regional Hospital and our family of healthcare communities. And we're all in it for life. Get the summer rolling at Toyota's summer event, where great value begins with Toyota quality. Kick off your summer with 0% APR financing on the spacious Highlander or the sporty fun RAV4. Or take home RAV4 or Highlander with an incredibly low lease. And check out the versatile 4Runner, now available in a V8. Get to Toyota's summer event and start some fun. You're watching New Center One Sports. Yesterday, Annika Sorenstam made history. Today, she just wanted to make the cut. After a one over par first round yesterday that left her in 73rd place, Sorenstam knew she needed to move within the top 70 players to continue this weekend. Home Sweden, please welcome Annika Sorenstam. And after a nice ovation to start round two, she teed off in front of a packed audience. Sorenstam would par her first hole for birdie on the second hole. That put her at even for the tournament, a great start. But then after bogeying the fifth hole, the par putt on the sixth, double bogeys. For par again on the eighth hole, and another bogey. She bogeyed five of eight holes at one point before finishing with six straight pars, but it wasn't enough to make the cut. Since South Dakota began awarding team tennis titles in 1971, no West River school has ever won a state championship. But this year, both Rapid City Central and Rapid City Stevens are considered among the four favorites to win it all. To Sioux Falls we go. And that's Steve Grants for the number one doubles team of Rapid City Stevens. All teams and individuals played two matches today. In the early match, Stevens was taking on Weissmantle and Carmen from Madison. And Carmen slams it home for the Madison point. Grants and Weissmana will volley right here, but Stevens wins. They beat Madison. They later beat Huron to advance to the final four. Number two doubles team in flight one, Rapid City Central here, taking on Aberdeen. Lisi and Graspy in the near court. Point goes to Central. Graspy serving, but Rawl will take this one and win the point for Aberdeen Central. Graspy returns the serve. And Lisi slams it as Central beats Aberdeen and Sioux Falls, Washington later to advance to tomorrow's Final Four. Here is your updated scoreboard showing how all the local teams are doing and Central still has a shot. But as you see, Stevens may be the first West River team ever to win the title if things go well for him tomorrow. On to post-22 baseball looking to improve to 6-2 against Gillette. Bottom of the second inning, two on, two out. Mike Durst singles up the middle. Dustin Rowland will score. Aaron Massine follows him. 
And he's in there, 2 nothing post-22. Third inning, Casey Clapperidge loops one to center. Andy Shepard scores. He'll make it 3 nothing. They hang on to win 5 to nothing. And across the parking lot, a wood bat game between post 320 and Casper. 329 and one on the season. Berkland trying to get things going in the first almost takes the pitcher's head off there with a single, but they left him stranded. Josh London on the mound, and he is sharp, striking out one. First batter of the next inning, striking him out, and then the cut looking. However, late in the game, the sixth inning, Casper shutting out post 320. NHL playoffs, New Jersey at Ottawa for game seven. Magnus Arvidsson beats Brodeur, 1-0 Senators. Second period, Breland's shot is deflected. Langenbrunner ties it with the wrister. And less than two minutes later, it's Langenbrunner. Again, 2-1 Devils just like that. Third period, Radic Bonk Slaffer ties the game up at two. And two minutes left to play, Jeff Friesen scores. The Devils advance to the Stanley Cup Finals, game one versus Anaheim on Tuesday. NBA playoffs, San Antonio at Dallas for game three. Robinson misses, Duncan follows another big game for the MVP. Dallas down two until Van Exel drains the three. Mavs running, Van Exel finishing, he had 16. Tony Parker the drive and watch this one. Just gets it to go, he had 29. Finley to Nowitzki, Mavs are up 10. But Steven Jackson and the Spurs roar back. They regain home court advantage by beating Dallas. Major League Baseball is next. St. Louis at Pittsburgh, Kenny Lofton the leadoff homer, but the Cardinals come back to win the game in 10 innings. Cleveland at Boston, Shea Hillenbrand, the long double as the Red Sox move into sole position of first place in the AL East. Florida at Cincinnati, Yvonne Rodriguez, the two-run double as the Marlins score five runs in the first inning to win. Philadelphia at Montreal, Bobby Abreu snaps a one-run tie. Kevin Millwood wins his fifth straight decision in Philadelphia's victory. Chicago at Houston, Jeff Kent, the RBI single as Houston pounds Mark Pryor. 11 out of their last 14 games won by the Astros. And the Mets at Atlanta, two outs in the ninth. The Braves down one. Julio Franco singles. Chipper Jones trying to score. He is gunned down, and Elizabeth Mets win on a throwout at the plate in the game. And we'll be right back. Whoever said don't go there never got anywhere. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. If you don't move it, you're gonna lose it. The best values in America from Dodge. It's your big chance to get great savings on just about every Dodge car, truck, minivan, or SUV in stock. From now until June 2nd, you can grab cash allowances of up to $4,500 or 0% financing for 60 months on most models. Plus, get Dodge's fully transferable 770 powertrain limited warranty. Products, protection, deals. They're the best values in America. So get up and get going. See your Dodge dealer by June 2nd. <laughs> Are you planning to add a room, deck, or garage to your home? Clark & Sons Construction, a family-run business, will do your interior and exterior remodeling and do it right. Quality materials bought locally. Over 40 years experience, solid craftsmanship, and in-house design capability will all go into your new room addition, deck, or garage. Call Clark & Sons today for a complete list of references and a free estimate. Clark & Sons Construction does it right. Hurry in to Carmen's Furniture for huge Memorial Week savings. Redecorate for summer and don't pay for a full year. Get factory direct savings on quality brand name furniture. Plus, no money down, no interest, and no payments until Memorial Day 2004. Outstanding values on beautiful wood furniture, sofas and sectionals, and dining sets. It's Conlon's huge Memorial Week savings. Open Sundays and until 6 p.m. Memorial Day. Conlon's Furniture. We make it easy. This summer, take the entire family on an adventure in a Fleetwood motorhome from Mid-State Camper Sales. Stop dreaming and start living with low interest financing. This year you can afford it at Mid-State Camper Sales along I-90 and Blackhawk, where nobody beats our deals. This summer's family adventure starts at Mid-State Campers with great deals on Coleman Tent Trailers. Go out and have some fun this summer, courtesy of Coleman Tent Trailers and Mid-State Campers along I-90 in Blackhawk, where nobody beats our deals. Who cares about the way you see? I care. 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 Black Hills Regional Eye Institute is your number one resource for eye care. We bring the most advanced equipment, the most skillful procedures, the most professional people into our system for one simple reason. 
when your sight is at stake. Eye care. <laughs> Black Hills Regional Eye Institute. Visionary eye care. You'll see. For the last half century, it's provided a lot of Black Hills residents boating, fishing, hiking, and more importantly, water. Pactola residents, that's Pactola Reservoir, turns 50 this weekend, and a lot of activities are planned for the weekend. The Bureau of Reclamation began work on Pactola in 1953, and since its completion, the reservoir has been a center of recreation and irrigation. There will be activities planned at the visitor center near the reservoir, and people can take a look at what the area was like before Pactola Lake. The activities begin at 10 o'clock in the morning at the Visitor Center on Highway 385. It's almost a definition of a black hill. You know what, Al? Lake in many ways I'm glad I didn't have to read that here. because I didn't want the real big 50 years old right here by my face. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's amazing, though? Better not, anyway. What's that? Pactola doesn't look a day older than 25. <laughs> yes. Isn't that incredible? It's incredible. It's 50. Oh, yeah. The water looks just as good today as it did back then. And I'll bet you it's just as cold today as it was back then. <laughs> get a little weather there, Bob. It's going to be a beautiful a weekend. Everybody get out and enjoy yeah. it. Uh, so Great. Be nice. Thank you, Bob. That's all the time we have for now. We'll be back on Monday. We hope you'll be here, too. Join David Hudson, Taylor Nicolaisen, and Justin Wickersham tomorrow at 530 and 10. From the entire News Center 1 team, have a good night and a great weekend.